Suntland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome, Chris, back with another fragrance review, this time coming from uh, another angle, looking at a particular fragrance or fragrances from um, the aspect of their major keynote. Now, there are many keynotes in, in, in fragrances, from citruses to oak moss to rose to leather to musk to honey. You know, you have many keynotes. And one of my favorite keynotes is tomato leaf. And I like it because it's special. It makes fragrances unusual, but at the same time, it, the same time, it uh, uh, requires great courage for it to be used, to, for it to be blended into a composition by the particular perfume, by the particular nose. So, um, also, it is you know educating the market a little bit that that using this keynote can make a fragrance be individual and can make it special, can make it unusual in a good way. Now, in general, tomato leaf is, um, is greenish, you know, uh, fresh type of stuff, uh, but it's, it's a bit astringent, individual and refined. So this is why it's not your typical easygoing uh, bergamot or, you know, uh, lemon or lime or whatever uh, that is, you know, more often used in and as a keynote in fragrances or even as a top note um, because you know due to this astringent refined individual uh, character uh, the tomato leaf definitely shapes the fragrance that it's being blended into and I've been trying to think of um, the last 25 years that I'm using fragrances and uh, to come, a, come up with five fragrances that really have this keynote tomato leaf in them um, and it's what's interesting also in this top five is that they have this in on a different level they have this ingredient being represented in them or blended in them on a, in, in a different kind of percentage and that actually shapes them uh, into different directions so if we start at spot number five uh, we have a mainstream release from the house of adidas from the year of 1999 called adidas moves now this, you would think, it's your typical citrus aquatic, um, sorry, this way, citrus aquatic uh, fragrance for the gym, right? You could be right, it is actually, but at the same time, it really introduces a very nice, fresh, um, invigorating tomato leaf note to the greater audience, right? To the mainstream audience even, which is very courageous, I applaud. Adidas for doing that and this actually makes moves uh, a very popular fragrance because tomato leaf here is very well done obviously it's being paired with citrusism and um, and you know other ingredients that are helping uh, and assisting the the uh, tomato leaf note here and tomato leaf in this fragrance does not play the the, the most sensual role um, but it's definitely there is well detectable and it helps the fragrance very much with its fresh green slightly bitter maybe but definitely individual and refined um, overall appearance so very well done in adidas moves and it's a great sports fragrance talking about sport uh, the very creative and courageous house house of Löwe from spain came out with this fragrance called Löwe seven Löwe seven sport now, again, sport, right? Sports fragrance. So, tomato leaf is being used here as a very attractive, invigorating, uplifting ingredient. Um, and again, like I bow my head in front of, of Löwe uh, because they have had the courage to not go down the lane of your aquatic, you know, or ginger or bergamot. Uh, freshness road okay they have used among others certainly tomato leaf to make this fragrance special and most of the Löwe fragrances are really special I mean I think of Löwe uh, Pohom, Löwe Essentia, uh, Löwe 7 line including Anonimo I mean there are great fragrances and this uh, is is no difference Löwe Sport 7, Löwe 7 Sport really achieves a great individual um, approach to 
this sports team which is so overdone these days you know everything is sports and everything everybody puts in bergamot lime ginger mint and that's then creating some sort of a sport feeling no tomato leaf can as well if intelligently blended here live seven sport absolutely well done tremendous tremendous fragrance um from Leuven. on spot number three we have uh the um designer celebrity but an old player in the fragrance market alain delon came out with this fragrance called shogun in 2001 now shogun you can see the name and the, the whole shape of the bottle it really appeals to the japanese market because his previous release samurai was very very and still is a high seller in in japan but also all the flankers of samurai and shogun as well and here Again, we, we uh, face a fantastically well-blended tomato leaf, which this is a, the, the, the tomato leaf here comes across as more bitter than refreshing. Um, there are other ingredients that make, that make the freshness here, but here for me the, the, the tomato leaf is, gives it this bitter aspect, which I love in a fragrance, I truly adore bitter fragrances the bitterness if it's well done obviously you know you don't want uh, to spray yourself with something that is so bitter that you cannot wear it but here in this case the bitterness paired up with this freshness is is totally working well it smells this smells to me like a cocktail that somehow has <laughs> tomato leaf in it maybe a, i don't know uh it smells like a gin tonic that somehow <laughs> has this tomato leaf aspect to it or just a gin tonic in general but it really has this fizzy, bitterish smell that is very uplifting, very classy as well, and um, lingering for a long time, smelling very natural as well. One very important thing about, uh, I haven't mentioned so far, tomato leaf makes it smell natural. Natural, green, refined, and individual. Great, great aspects of, and this is why I love tomato leaf, and you know, it makes it feel unusual as well and it's obviously nothing for somebody who wants to smell like every second guy on the street those people use uh, uh, different fragrances obviously to appeal to uh, you know whatever they want to appeal to but if you use this fragrance for yourself to be matching up with your individual style tomato leaf look for tomato leaf based fragrances they really gonna be uh, um, helping you in that in that department so shogun from Alain Delon with a great, great bitter tomato leaf. Now, the next two is, is like um, a different league of tomato leaf uh, blending into a fragrance. And I can't really set them apart uh, saying that this is spot number one, this is spot number two. Still, I mention this fragrance from Trussardi released in, in 1995 uh, first because uh, it's, it's a fragrance called L'Uomo, the man, right, uh, in, in Italian, and it has a tomato leaf that is playing here center stage. There's some tobacco in there, some spices, maybe some leather, but the main, main, main stage is tomato leaf. In a way that it's highly unusual, this fragrance is, is highly unusual, it is very individual, it's very Italian because obviously the Italians use tomato anyway in, in many, many of their dishes. And if you have tomato, tomato leaf, that type of feeling, that type of mood, it's, it's uh, automatically in your brain connects with the Italian cuisine, you know, with, with the way that, you know, the Italian lifestyle is. And this fragrance, Luomo from Tusadi, really represents that a lot. Um, it is so refined and so individual that, you know, it, it might not appeal to, to many people. Maybe this is why it's gone down in fragrance history as a release that is sort of very much under the radar and out of the spotlight, even if, if taken into consideration it's coming from such great houses, Trussardi. This is, this is by now an almost forgotten juice, you know, strange. But then again, I understand it in a way because the tomato leaf is very strong in here. It smells very natural, but it's, it's not your uh, clubbing scent. 
is, is not for the office this thing. It's, it's a very refined uh, taste that this requires for you to enjoy this fragrance. So Trussa di Luomo goes down that alley. If you like that, if you, you know, looking for something like this, this is a uh, total and utter uh, masterpiece in terms of the tomato leaf department, right? So Trussa di Luomo from the year of 1995. And we jumped two years and um, I think by far, but not by far, but still, still, even though I love Trussardi Luomo, the best tomato leaf comes across and hits you straight in the face. <laughs> in the 1997 release of the House of Yope, I wore this fragrance, you know, are you sitting? I wore this fragrance for my wedding. Yes, this was my wedding fragrance. Uh, this year in May. I'm looking at my wife there. She, uh, she, she also loved this on me, didn't she? Yeah, she loves it. Uh, it's called um, What About Adam by the House of Yope, released in 1997. Now this fragrance is an absolute stunner in the entire history of man's designer fragrance releases because this is so individual you cannot find anything that comes even close to this fragrance both in in, in the, the the aspect that it's it's um so well blended and so individual and so refined and also in terms of performance uh it outperforms most of the extrait de parfum from any type of niche house this stuff with one spray two sprays you you uh, you fly out to the moon with this stuff it's so potent um and again, it's so individual due to the, to the tomato leaf again. It's very central stage here. It's a bit maybe more customer friendly than the Luomo one. Um, it's a bit not so, it's not so in your face, yet still it is somehow. Um, it's maybe not as rough around the edges as in Luomo. Here it's probably, it's the, the, the edges are a bit more, um, you know, less, uh, sharp probably it is it is more kind of juicy type of tomato leaf rather than the, the spicy green herbal one if that makes any sense um, but it's very hard to describe this fragrance because it's such an utter masterpiece uh, so well blended by uh, Kalis Becker I think she uh, she was the um, nose on this one and um, like I'm speechless and this is why I wore it for my wedding day because it, you know it is it required something special we had a very special wedding in uh, in New York City in Harlem and uh, this required a fragrance that matches up to that uh, occasion right so I think it was spot on to use what about Adam and what about Adam actually I reviewed the fragrance on the High Line uh, actually in New York um, so Tomato leaf, right? I hope I was able to, to give you a little bit of an insight into this very special keynote ingredient, fantastic um, individual refined green special tomato leaf ingredient in all these gorgeous fragrances. And again, you know, really, really courageous um, designers that have thought, you know, let's educate the market a little bit. Fresh cannot only be citrus, lime, mint or ginger. There's some other things as well tomato leaf. Very well done. So that's very much. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure and I'll be back with other keynotes. Maybe oak moss. I love oak moss. Or maybe leather, rose, magnolia. There's many. There's many to talk about. So see you soon for another discussion about keynote in fragrances. Take care.